What's good, y'all? Welcome to an episode of Buzz Boys. And for the second consecutive game, for like the second time in 36 hours, the Hornets beat the Dallas Mavericks with Luka, with Kyrie, no excuses, just Hornets goaded Mavs are trash. Just the reality. Um, This game was pretty identical to the last game. Had a lead. Um, it got cut into. Um, and the other night's game, the Mavs never actually came all the way back to take the lead. In today's game, they came back. They took the lead. I think they went up by three points. I think that's the most they went up by was three points. A few Gordon Hayward buckets. A few, you know, Gordon Hayward assists. Boom, boom. Lead's gone. And they never got it back. Um, beautiful stuff, man. Beautiful stuff. Um, I like the way this team fought, man. The tenacity. I mean, it literally was just the, the exact same as last game, man. We just kept that that dog mentality. <sighs> Excuse me. Kept that dog mentality. The young guys contributed once again. And um, it was beautiful. It was beautiful. Um it was a great way to spend Sunday earlier on. It was a 1 p.m. game. Um, I know I'm late getting this video out, but I did watch the game. I was at the shop, and then I just moved around, and I'm just now home, done eating or whatever. So I'm like, I got to make a video. But I watched the game earlier, though. And, gosh, it was just so – like, it always feels so good for the Hornets to beat these good teams because it shows you – that we could possibly be a good team if we were just healthy and just under better circumstances. So um, it feels good to be able to affect other teams' playoff hopes or playoff pushes um, because the West is tight right now. So, you know, the Mavs losing to us twice is really bad. Um, that shit was just a good uh, Dennis Smith revenge game, bro. I'm happy for him. We all know how the Mavs did him dirty. Um and once again, he made final plays down the stretch to kind of ice the game. Um, he had a nice-ass alley-oop. Like, hey, bro. It was just beautiful. It was just beautiful. Um, tonight, Mark Williams did start. Had 15 and 16. Um, plus 10, plus minus. Something interesting. Nick Richards got a DMP. He did not play. Nick Richards did not play tonight. Well, today. Um. It's opted for Kai Jones. Um, Kai Jones played 15 minutes. Um, bigger story, James Booknight did play tonight. Um, opposed to the one minute he received the other night, he played 10 minutes tonight. Um, five, five points for Booknight. And uh, Steve Clifford said he's going to play him um, a little more for the rest of the year. So, you know, we can we can get you seeing Booknight as, as we should. I mean, at this point, why not? Um, so that's good. There was a lot of things about this game that was good, man. It really is nothing too much to complain about. Back to back wins over a team with Luka Dodgers and Kyrie Irving, but you can't complain too much, even though Luka had a 40 ball. Who cares? The Hornets won the game. And, um, I bet on them both times. I bet on them the other day. I bet on them today. It was always Hornets money line. It's always Hornets money line. <laughs> Anyways, man, let me, let me get to these stats, man. I'm trying to keep the video short. Um, Gordon Hayward, 22 points, six, six rebounds, four assists. Um, pretty identical stat line to what he had the other night. Like, literally almost identical. Except for I think he might have had 21 points the other night. Um, identical stuff, really. Like, this game was literally, like, almost a, a mirror image of the other game. Um, 8 for 14 from the field. Um, 100% from three-point line. 100% from the free throw line. Just like he was the other night. Um, only a plus four, plus minus, but still a positive plus minus. Um, PJ Washington, 21 points, 12 rebounds, four assists, a steal, a block, nine for 22 from the field, three for eight from three. PJ Washington is going to get paid this summer, ladies and gentlemen. He's, he's going to get paid. Um, the way that he's came on these last, these last few weeks and months, um, he's been a totally different player, I would say, after the All-Star break. After the All-Star break, he realized he wasn't getting traded. He's been a totally different player. He's been a totally different player, man. Um, so shout out to PJ, bro. Um, he keeps playing like this. He deserves he deserves the money. I still don't know about $20 million a year. But, I mean, if he can be this player, 
Yeah, you can get 20 million a year, but you got to be this guy. You know, not eight points here and then 20 points there. Nah, you got to be 20 point per game player. You got to be around that. But anyways, moving on. Um, Mark Williams, monster double-double, 15 points, 16 rebounds. Um, five for nine from the field, five for seven from the free throw line, a plus 10, plus minus. Um, <laughs> 15 to 16 is crazy, bro. 15 to 16 is crazy. <sighs> Excuse me. He had a good game off the bench the other night, too. I think he had like 13 to 8 or something like that. Like, bro, Mark is a beast, man. He's definitely the center of the future and it was a great pick, man. Um, let me see. Mahai Luke, um, he didn't go too crazy tonight. I mean, seven points, three assists, two steals, but still led the team in plus minus, which is why plus minus is so crazy because Mahai Luke didn't shoot that well tonight. He was like one for seven or one for eight. Yep. He was one for seven from the field and one for four from three. Um, not good. It's fourteen percent from the field and twenty five percent from three, respectively. I mean, he was one hundred percent from the free throw line, but um, plus minus is crazy because he he led the team at plus minus. But it's just so crazy that the Hornets, I mean, that the Mavs lost to this starting lineup back to back times. Man, it's crazy to me. Um, Dennis Smith Jr. fourteen points, um, a steal. You already know he's always gonna have a steal. Six assists, five rebounds. Um, stat line nearly identical to the other night, like literally, um, five for 11 from the field, 45%, one for four from three. I wish he would stop shooting less, but it is what it is. Um, he did have three turnovers. Um, Gordon had three turnovers. Like there was, there was a few turnovers, but ultimately, I mean, and eh, we had 14. That's, that's still bad, but I mean, we won, but man, she was crazy. I feel like Dennis Smith had more than 14, but I don't know. He just makes them clutch shots, bro. That just, like, demoralizes the other team. He he just does stuff that just demoralizes the other team, and it just feel like – you'll just feel like his box score is just way crazier than it was. But, I mean, 14 and 6 is still good. Four plus four plus minus. Um, moving on to the young guys, man. Bryce McGowns, nine points, four assists. He had some good passes underneath to Mark Williams for um, easy dunks. Um, but it was like point guard-like passes, you know. Like, I've always been saying that since summer league. McGowns can pass the ball when he wants to pass the ball. Um, and for him, I just want him to be aggressive, you know. He was three for eight from the field, and eight times is the most we've seen him shoot in I don't know how long, you know. So, for him, I'm glad he shot eight times. Keep shooting the ball. Keep being aggressive. Um, nine points for him is good, man. And uh, same thing for JT Thor, bro. He had a, he had a great game the uh, the other night. One of the, I think the best of his career. And then tonight, nine points, three rebounds, like three for four from the field, and uh, three for three from three, man. So shout out to JT Thor, man, because his three point shot has really improved. Um, that was like one of the main things that jumped out to me during the game. Like I tweeted that shit out, like. You know, JT shot is, is uh, wow. And they both have plus zero, plus minuses too, but I don't care, man. Um, I heard for both of them, and really for JT, because, you know, we, he's always had the defense. It's just, can you contribute on offense at all? And uh, he's shown that he can do that. Um, shooting 100% from three in the game, impressive. Tail Maladon, six points, five assists, five rebounds. Two for seven from the field, 0 for three from three. Um, still had a positive plus minus though, and he still only had one turnover. Um, I was honestly surprised that Maladon hadn't really been playing more with all the injuries. Ooh. I'm sorry. I thought when Lamelo went down that we kind of see Maladon more, but surprisingly, no, it just took all these injuries for him to play. Cause I thought Steve Clifford really liked him early on in the season, but I don't know. Guess not. Kai Jones, two points. Um, that's really it. <laughs> Three fouls, two turnovers. He had more fouls than points. Uh, I mean, yeah. Um, one rebound in 15 minutes. And I uh, can't lie, bro. I can't stand for that, bro. You out there for 15 minutes, you should have more than one rebound. You're just out there doing cardio. No blocks, no steals, just cardio for 15 minutes. Negative eight plus, I mean, negative four plus or minus. Book night, 
five points, one steal, one block, no assists, three rebounds, um, two for five from the field, and uh, one for three from three, which aren't bad, really that bad of splits, but he had a negative eight plus minus the worst on the team. But he did play 10 minutes tonight, and he is obviously working his way back into things. And he said, you know, it feels good to be back around the guys and all of that stuff. Like, you know, he's probably missed these guys. He's probably missed, you know, just being with an NBA team. Like, bro, he's been down in the G League for a minute, bro. Like, a long time for real. But um, today was crazy, man. Like, two back-to-back -back wins versus the Mavs while playing the young guys and while possibly knocking the Mavs off the playoffs. Felt good. It felt good. But anyways, I'm going to wrap this up, man. I'll catch y'all on the next one.